You never let your boy out the house. Alexa, tell him what I did. Five more miners. How many did he buy? Ten. Oh shit. Here we go again. I'm on my way to buy 10 Bitcoin miners. These are the latest generation of Bitcoin miners. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm either gonna look back on this moment and be like, yep, right there, that's when we went bankrupt. Or I'm gonna be like, you know, glad I did that. So I'm on my way, I'm driving out there uh, right now. These miners are coming from a local miner. Uh, he is uh, based out of Richmond. You know, he's exiting and offered me a good deal on these Bitcoin miners. Uh, in particular, these are 10 Amp Miner S19s. The S19 series lead the Bitcoin mining charge still. Uh, there's a bunch of different models, uh, but these hash at 104 terahash a second and uh, i'll be picking these up at one thousand dollars per miner uh so <laughs> odd figure day but not going up we're going down this is really crazy though for a lot of reasons uh notably right the fact that right now i am on my way to buy more bitcoin miners than i have than i have total uh right now my bitcoin uh, hash rate is about 800 terahash a second and I've got a few miners on the way that would actually tip me over my big time goal of one pay to hash a second. Uh, but now I'm about to buy one pay to hash straight up. Uh, so instead of hitting the one pay to hash goal uh, this year, I'm going to turn around and, and double it. Uh, this will put me at capacity uh, in the digital shovel, uh, which, you know, it's basically a plug and play uh, Bitcoin mining pot, right? Uh, so this puts me at capacity in that deployment, which then really gets me thinking about what's next, where do we go from here, and how do we continue to try to scale the mining farm? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna force my hand because I know that I want more miners and I'm not gonna have capacity for that. And this is probably about that time I should finally organize my miners labeling and uh get my wire management skills up uh in the pie Ah, uh, ah, uh, maniac, we did it. Over one pay to hash. Layman terms, that's probably about at least 10 Bitcoin miners in this current era of Bitcoin mining. They're hooked up, they're running. Uh, the digital shovel mini pod is now at capacity. Uh, so I am ahead of my schedule. This forces my hand to finally do something uh, with the Voscoin mining shed. We're still running off Starlink for better and worse up there. I was loosely planning to do immersion in there. I don't know, but I, I actually have a couple miners on the way that I'd already ordered uh, prior to buying these 10 miners. This is crazy. Just got them set up. You know, we're just talking C13, C20, uh, power cables going into the integrated uh, PDU. That is a... Yeah, th this thing is, you know, you're, we're plugging in Ethernet, we're plugging in the power cable. Um, each one's taking up a slot on the PDU. Uh, I moved some of my miners around to be able to accommodate them neatly. It does look like it, something's going wrong with the power supply on my Ant Miner L7, which is a Litecoin Dogecoin miner. Opened up another fan, and this stuff is blowing hot air, and it's really not all that hot outside yet. Yeah, I mean, it's quite literally heating up. I mean, this is crazy. This is one of the craziest things I've ever done. This period, but also grabbing 10 miners and whoop, one fell swoop. Uh, meeting that gentleman, I mean, he was so cool. I, I wish him the best. Um, it, it's, it's really fun. Like, I'm kind of a recluse in a way. Uh, you know, I just kind of hang out at home with all my digital employees and uh, play with my dog. Uh, but I'm not like the first guy to be like, yeah, let's get out there and, you know, get real social. I need my social fix. Uh, but, you know, I do enjoy connecting with others, especially people in crypto. I mean, it's such a unique space. Um, and you know just talking about that trading other stuff. I mean, it's it's fun as far as like the mining farm goes I'm behind schedule on my three-phase deployment. I'm still probably an entire year out I need to utilize my electric service that is 
coming off of the shed over there um, I've got 400 amps right here and they on single phase electricity they're all used up now uh, for the most part um, I may use one of the slots that I have allocated to the fan uh, there's four exhaust fans on there I'm only using two right now so I may be able to steal a little bit more juice that way I mean it's really crazy though because I'm burning over I was burning over $100 per day in electricity at my 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity cost, which, which isn't all that great, but it's not awful, um, in the pod. Now I've basically doubled my minor deployment, so I'm going to be burning approximately $200 a day in electricity, and I'm basically mining $200 per day. So when the coins hit my wallet, I'm like, yeah, let's go. And then when I get my electricity bill, I'm like, Alexa, it's PB&J again. It's PB&J again. No, no more. I want sushi. You know, the Bitcoin mining sector is very tough right now. Bitcoin, you know, is not at a lavish price, but mining difficulty is relatively just about at its all time high. And the Bitcoin halving is less than a year away and it's gonna cut the amount of Bitcoin mined per day in half. So if I'm breaking even at best right now, I'm going to be completely underwater when the halving hits. So, you know, roughly without breaking down all the numbers and making this a real long video, I need to hodl my Bitcoin and Bitcoin to pretty much go to 40 grand before Bitcoin halves to break even on my recent purchase. Uh, so, you know, I was fortunate to get the opportunity to buy these miners. Uh, they're either brand new or basically brand new. Uh, the Bitmain Antminer S19, I think it's a J model. All that stuff doesn't really matter. What really matters is the hash rate and power consumption. So they consume about 3,250 watts and they mine at 104 terahash a second. So even if the miners are kind of mine producing um, over one petahash, you know, in a bundle of 10, uh, the going rate for these, you know, if you go and order off one of the ASIC miner resellers, um, like we've had a very good experience so far with Crypto Miner Bros, shameless plug, use our link and code to get a discount and support your boy. I didn't get these from them, obviously, which is the whole point of the video, just to make that clear. But basically the going rate for these is like two grand a pop. If you buy in bulk, obviously you can get better prices. Uh, we've seen some auctions where, you know, a couple million dollars of hardware, Bitcoin mining hardware are sold. Oh my God, they're going for so cheap. I mean, it, like these these big farms doubling down in a bear like that. I mean, they are poised to win big when the time comes. Will the time come? That's the real question. I think so. And if you don't believe, then what's the point of being even in the game or involved? Ultimately, I'm just really, I'm really excited. I'm hyped, I'm super proud uh, to be able to, you know, fill this out. I mean, th this is cool. This. I mean, this a lot. Like, I pulled out a lot of my like miners that are far in the red. I mean, I could have been more towards capacity sooner, but if these things are just losing me a bunch of money per day, then it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it loses sense. It loses dollar actually per day. Haha, uh -huh. so punny. The point though being is that all of this hardware, worst case, is treading water. Best case, I'm in the green. Some of these are in the green pretty well, even at 10 cents, like my L7, except for the one that went down. But I mean, I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm hyped. It's been a while since I did something fun, something crazy. Uh, I mean, financially, things have been very, very difficult for me behind the scenes, as well as Bosscoin uh, behind the scenes. And uh, I mean, you know, we're not dead yet, right? But it's, I mean, it's feast or famine and it's, it's a famine. Um, so to do something like this right now, it, it's hard to, convince yourself to do that and uh, I just try to hype myself up you know the opportunity the local factor it, it all kind of lined up and I was like you know what Fuck it let's do it get back to my roots of just doing crazy things and hoping that it works out in the end um, because for better and worse that's that's how I made it you know made any progress in life so you do average things you'll get average results but it is stressful living like this it's I'm really starting to feel the wear and tear over the years I don't want to, you know, it's not dramatic or anything, uh, but it is, it is strenuous, it's taxing, it's difficult. Uh, so we'll see in the end if I feel like it was worth it. Uh, I tell Alexa, I'm like, yo, no matter what, we did not lead a boring life, even if I died tomorrow.
But to bring it back to the miner and just kind of round this out, I mean, thankfully I had uh, the uh, ethernet cables that I needed to get all these running. Um, actually, the gentleman that I bought these from uh, was able to sell me some of his uh, power supply cables, the PDU cables. Uh, they're the right kind uh, for this kind of deployment. Um, so, you know, he gave me a good deal on those and I was thankful because uh, I thought I had more uh, power supply cables than I actually did. Uh, who is going to take care of these weeds? Who did this? I mean, these things, they, they like, they crack. But my point is, got the, situated with the power cable, situated with the ethernet, plenty of room on the switch. Um, again, if you don't know this, uh, so I'm running this on single phase. Uh, this, which basically means that I'm using two of the three legs in here which means that I run this thing at 66% capacity. It's impossible on single phase for me to run it at full capacity. Uh, so it's full capacity for me. Uh, you could add more miners on here, in here, if you were operating on three phase electricity without kind of diving into all the nuances of uh, three phase and you know the nuances to simply put of just electricity. So I'll let a couple of days of uh, mining data gather and run through some of the real world mining profitability here. I hope you subscribe, stick around because uh, I'm going to post some updates and let you know how's, how is this going. Uh, and if I stop posting, they killed me or went belly up. There you go.